thank you very much and, and our condolences uh, to you. C can you uh, give us any information about uh, what happened today? Thank you. We do really appreciate. Mama um, Spongile, as I call her auntie, she's not been well for, for a while now. So she's been in and out of hospital. And um, unfortunately, she suffered complications uh, due to stroke. So that is the long and short of her, of her illness. Um, mm. She's not been quite well. But she did uh, fight through and held on up until the very last minute. Yeah. Uh, obviously, it's, it's very complicated in, in hospitals right now. Uh, were, were members of her family, uh, her loved ones, uh, allowed to be near her? Uh, in these quite difficult and trying times, um, unfortunately, uh, we were not able to see her um, uh, because of the protocols at the hospital. Um, it was very um, strictly um, not allowed. Um, so, uh, yeah, it's, mm -hmm. it's been quite a difficult time in not um, having opportunity to visit. But um, um, one or two members did get to did get to say uh, uh, did get to see her and yeah. say a uh, final farewells to her sure so so you said she she was sick for a while um so this this yeah. is not covered uh, 19 related at all no no definitely definitely i just want to state that categorically that it was not covid 19 related at all she suffered a stroke and uh, this has been coming for the past uh, two three years or so so this is definitely not covid related yeah Mr. Ngoma, uh, how's the family holding up? Uh, I dread to ask. Well, it, um, well, honestly speaking, it is devastation, uh, but there's also a mixed bag of emotions. I'm sure in the background you could hear the grandchildren uh, running around the yard playing, you know, chasing each other, playing tag, you know, as much as we say, please, socially distant, you know, um, but... Uh, that's, so that is the one extreme, the grandchildren uh, playing, and then uh, somber mood also on the other extreme, and uh, definite uh, shock and sadness, you know. So it's quite, uh, yeah. it's quite a mixed bag of emotions, but we're definitely uh, saddened by this. You, you talk about the grandchildren, and, and you said she, she was sick for, for months. Was she able to, to interact with her, her family, to no, interact with, with the grandchildren? Definitely not. Yeah. Definitely not. So, so it, it was those, quite isolated the last few months. Yes, it's been quite isolated, and uh, there's no way that um, the grandchildren would have um, given her those those final hugs. But um, she did come home uh, before she was hospitalized. Uh, quite now, um, end of November, you know. So there's been no contact whatsoever. Yeah. We've been talking about Sibongile uh, Kamalo, the renowned musician uh, hailed by, by government. Uh, we heard from a, a friend there just looking uh, also a, a bit at her musical legacy. Can you tell us about Sibongile Kamalo, uh, the, the family woman, in interacting with her in that way? Wow, she was, uh, she was proud about her culture. You know, she was a proud auntie, as I said. She was a proud mother, a proud grandmother. A sister, you know, um, a sister, a confidant uh, to so many people. So from our end, she was truly a gogo, you know. Um, it was a gogo whom you would consult and confide in. So the so the musical side of things was just a blessing and cherry on top, you know. So she was a she was a lady of music, you know. Uh, but uh, at home, you know, um, a mean cook. You know, a mean cook, a, a mean storyteller, you know, so she had stories for days. So those are the memories that come up um, um, immediately, you know, as a storyteller. And and a very big hearty laugh, you know, a yeah. uh, very, very wicked sense of humor and can engage with anybody, you know, at different ages. So, yeah. That's who Spongile, um, Dr. Spongile Kumalo was. Okay, so a Google on, on one hand and a legendary musician on, on the other. Um, is, is music something celebrated in, in your family? Wow, um, she was born from a musical family. You know, um, her father, Dr. Uh, uh, Professor Kabi Vivian Mgoma, was a professor of music at the University of KwaZulu-Natal. 
uh, her mother, Grace Mondlan, uh, who was a nurse, was also part of the Ionian Choral Music Society. So she was a singer herself. You know, um, her own brother, uh, Lindumuzi Mgoma, a cello player. So music is there. Um, my older sister, Sbongi Lemgoma, opera singer, classical singer, Tepo, Tepo Mgoma, her firstborn, um, a, a violinist, you know, a musician by his own right, you know, married to Swazi Lamini. So it's a whole musical thing. Uh, so yeah. definitely a musical dynasty. Uh, and, and how does that work? I mean, at family gatherings, can you have sort of spontaneous uh, breaking out, people breaking out into song? Believe me, you, and uh, don't ask me to sing because uh, <laughs> I'm the black sheep of, of the family, but definitely. So every household has a piano, every household has a melodica, uh, violin, so people break into song, whether you are playing, whether you are singing or chilling or watching television. So believe me, you, uh, definitely, uh, you would love to be around uh, the family, around um, social gathering. Yeah. Yeah. Mr. Ngoma, uh, so many South Africans, I'm sure, would want to pay tribute. Uh, can you give us any details? Um, I, I guess it's just so soon, uh, but, but funeral yes. arrangements, things like that, is, is that still to be discussed? That is still to be discussed. Uh, it is very, very, very soon. We've just yeah. congregated as a family. So we will then have our own um, get together and put our heads together in the next uh, minute or so but uh, very soon to share any details. All right. Uh, thank you very much for your time uh, tonight. Uh, we'll follow those details. Uh, saying this isn't COVID-related, remembering Sibungile Kumalo, a legendary uh, musician, jazz, doyen, opera singer, uh, as a family woman who, who could cook up a storm and tell wonderful stories. Bandile Mgoma, the family spokesperson tonight.